Hello YouTube, this is Raph with the Arbcat channel and in today's video I'll be showing you guys my budget audio setup and I'll be giving you guys a quick rundown on the parts and then a quick tutorial on how to set everything up. Now enough of me talking, let's get into the parts. Now when you think of audio, what's the first piece of equipment that comes into our head? Well that'll obviously be the microphone. And the microphone that I'll be recommending in this video is the Audio Technica AT2020 XLR microphone. Now, because this microphone is an XLR microphone, it will require phantom power to work. And that's where our next piece of the puzzle fits in the audio interface. Now, I know some people might be intimidated by the pieces of equipment because this might be a new space for them, but I promise you, there's nothing to fear. Now, a question you might be asking, why would you use an audio interface? Well, audio interfaces transform instrument and microphone signals into a format that your computer and software can understand. Additionally, the interface sends audio from your computer to your studio monitors and headphones. If you're looking for a budget and user-friendly audio interface, the Focusrite Solo will always be my number one pick. And if you're starting out, the only piece of the audio interface you should really be paying attention to is the 48 volt button and the first gain volume knob. These will all be important in powering the actual microphone. Now let's begin. Here are the parts we need. Number one, the microphone of course. Next our audio interface of choice, an XLR cable and a working computer. Begin by plugging your audio interface into your computer via USB cable. Next, grab your XLR cable and plug one end to the microphone and the other end to the audio interface. Now what you want to do is head over to your computer and install your audio recording software of choice. I highly suggest Audacity as it works with pretty much all operating systems. Now hold on now, we're not done just yet. If you try to record audio, you might have found that the audio quality of your mic is terrible. Well, this kind of makes sense as we need to install our audio interfaces drivers. Begin by heading over to your web browser and search for Focusrite. Hit on download and find your audio interface. Select your operating system and hit on download. Now all you have to do is go through the basic installation process and you'll be done. Now before we begin, make sure you have phantom power by pressing the 48 volt button and turn the gain knob to your desired level. Now launch Audacity and say whatever you want. You'll find that those sounds from before are gone and your audio quality sounds far more better. And there you have it. I hope this video helped and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing if you're interested. If you like these kinds of videos, you can watch my most popular video about my Lenovo ThinkPad T470. And that's all from me, I'm Cat out, peace.